Welcome to the championship episode of March Mammal Madness 2025. I am joined as ever by my co-host, Giraffe. Great to be here, Lion. Through 11 nights of incredible action, the journeys of emergent heroes and unexpected villains, here we are at the final encounter. And let's bring back some of our friends for some retrospective perspectives of the tournament. Hello, chums. Um, can't say that I love the greeting, but great to have you back. But real quick, let's turn to Boar. Any thoughts? Even though the MMM random number generator, a.k.a. the One Ring, clearly had it in for herbivores in 2025, I gotta say, it was a wild ride. There was so much great science and cool animal traits and awesome ecosystem. Can we talk about those ocean ecosystems and the salty sea creatures? We had the gorgeous gaping maw of the frilled shark, the drift swim minimalism of coelacanth, mud skipper not skipping leg day with those walking fins of the inner tidal zone of the coastal mangroves. And the soil science. Can we talk about the soil science? I mean, obviously, I wanted Peccary to go all the way, but I was uprooting for Ginkgo and Rizzo, too. Gotta love when the life sciences meets the earth sciences. I will always take some geology with my biology. Thank you very much. Let's take a moment to look back at the combatants we met along the way. The fled and the fallen, the lost and the tossed, the rocked and the rolled, the craven and the carnaged, a toast to those eliminated.
Tonight was a long anticipated matchup of those universally beloved combatants, Puma and Polar Bear, two incredible predators hailing from the order Carnivora. Ugh. Did you switch out my teleprompter script? This isn't, I don't, this is mm -mm. <laughs> Gotcha back. <laughs> After making me say all those nice things about water weasels and tree weasels. <laughs> yeah. Well played, friend. Well played. Anyway, tonight's battle took place in the randomly selected habitat, geothermal wetlands. Specifically, tonight's battle occurs in... Yeah, I'm not going to say any of those words. So we'll just say it's in Easter Highlands of Iceland. 2025 March Battle Madness! Here in a landscape of fire and ice, the very land is being ripped apart along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge as the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate move apart in continental drift. By two centimeters a year, Iceland is torn asunder! Island carnage! All right. Magically translocated, Puma arrives into the rocky crags of the eastern highlands of Iceland and sniffs the wind smelling something familiar. Magically translocated, Polar Bear gazes at an eerily familiar but foreign snow-covered landscape. But he is not the first Polar Bear to look upon these lands. Over the centuries, straggler, vagrant polar bears have made their way from the sea ice east of Greenland to Iceland. In the nearly treeless landscape, Puma creeps amongst the crags and cuts of the geologically dynamic area. The snow-covered lichen make no sound beneath the felid's paw pads. Other than his injured forepaw, Polar Bear is in peak condition from winter ice hunting. But April is seal pup gorging season, and Polar Bear is staring down the summer fast. Motivated for food, Polar Bear begins tromping across the snowscape with wide, weight-distributing paws. Polar Bear sniffs the wind, smelling not seal, but something mammal. On the wind in the rocky crags, Puma sniffs the unmistakable scent of ungulate nearby, but cannot see them from his position amongst the rocks. Introduced from Scandinavia in the 1700s, several thousand caribou wander eastern Iceland today, and Polar Bear spots a prime-sized male sitting down, resting with his back turned. Polar Bear's forepaw injury slowing his roll, Polar Bear limp gallops toward caribou. Caribou's peripheral vision catches sight of the largest land predator, Polar Bear, and springs up to run away. But Caribou stumbles at the start! Polar Bear's good paw claws into the Caribou's rump, but the crushed paw can't grip, and the bucking Caribou twists loose of the Polar Bear and dashes around the rock crags into the geothermal wetland. On the other side of the rock crag, Puma spring pounces, bringing down the Caribou. Puma bites into the caribou's throat, causing rapid hemorrhaging and clamping tight with his jaws, crushing the caribou's trachea, suffocating the caribou quickly. With rapid tearing, Puma rips into the torso of the caribou to eat the nutrient-rich organs first, when... And then... Enter the Ursid as Polar Bear comes around the rock crag to survey the scene. Puma lifts his face smeared with blood and growl, snarl, screams at the marauding polar bear. Polar bear charges forward. Puma deploys vicious claws into the caribou caucus to hold on to the prey. What is polar bear to do? With his injured paw, he cannot grasp the carcass to pull, but he can't support his weight with the injured paw while his good paw reaches for the caribou carcass. Puma keeps pulling the carcass through the geothermal wetland as Polar Bear watches from a three-point stand. Polar Bear huff roars at Puma, opening his mouth and revealing that one of his large upper canines is broken. Male-male battles of Polar Bears for mates and carcasses can cause significant canine breakage in a paper that dropped just last week. 
and the bear limp walks forward to stand on three legs on the dead caribou. Polar bear with massive jaws leans down and rips the caribou open and eats its flesh. After all, bears routinely steal kills from pumas. At times, puma-killed ungulates can support most of a bear's nutritional needs. Puma flees the field of battle. Puma eliminated. And polar bear is the 2025 March Mammal Madness champion. Welp, that was 99% fantastic. Right up to the end. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this magical celebration of nature, science, and community. And remember, scores are just a number. But in March Mammal Madness, if you're learning, you're winning. Nature is all around us and needs your support. You can find activities and organizations in your local communities to support nature, wildlife, and science. Please do your part today. Thanks to Mr. Rosa's fifth grade class for learning and winning. Link in video description below and stick around after the credits for the incredible art showcase submitted from players, learners, and educators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. March Mammal Madness. It's going down. 65 species from all around. Thurl's deer, polar bear, taking the crown. Adax and Ginkgo, they're battle bound. If you're learning, you're winning. What? Species battling, no one's spinning. Home habitat's the first round spin. But traits take over when the league begins. Zorilla, flying snake, they're coming through. Moon rat and fern got something to prove. Tree of life, they're fighting for the throne. Who's gonna make this tournament their own? First three rounds, home field's your friend. But elite trade final roar, that's where legends send. Number one seeds might fall today. Unexpected champs gonna have their say. If you're learning, you're winning. What? Species battling, no one spinning. Out. Survival skills put to the test. March Mammal Madness, who's the best? 65 and a, but only one stage. March Mammal Madness, scientific ways. 